second stage of construction is the brickwork phase. It's an exciting time for homeowners as they watch the floor plan of their new residence materialise. While it may seem like a fairly straightforward exercise, there's more to brickwork than just whacking up a few walls. All houses built by Blueprint Homes include design features that guarantee many years of comfortable living. Once the site has been cleaned, a tractor will load the bricks onto the site. The construction supervisor will confirm that all supplies have been delivered. Depending on the size of the house, weather conditions and the availability of trades, the bricklaying process can take up to four weeks. Every trade person contributing to the construction of your home is an experienced professional, approved and trusted by Blueprint Homes. They each receive regular training to stay up to date on the latest building codes and architectural innovations. The location of your block will dictate the building standards incorporated into the framework, ensuring maximum structural integrity. Wall ties are fastened to add stability to the masonry. Tie-down rods will eventually anchor the roof structure directly into the concrete slab. White amp barriers are built into the garage walls. In accordance with your six-star energy assessment, cavity insulation may be embedded within certain walls. While mortar joints on external walls will be rolled clean, internal brickwork is not a finished product. Vertical holes will eventually be concealed by plaster. Morning, Nat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The brickwork meeting is an opportunity to convene with the construction supervisor and confirm the types of face and internal bricks used throughout the house. The Albany cream, two course block. You'll be able to imagine the eventual flow of your home as the supervisor guides you around the site. Unfortunately, the design plans cannot be altered at this time. Any amendments require new Shire approvals and costly re-engineering, and all construction work will be placed on hold. If you're the owner and you come on site from time to time, you may notice some gaps between the perp ends of the brickwork. Don't be alarmed. They're there for a purpose to act as ventilation and also moisture can escape if we have any overflows of eaves, etc. Same as above there, there's actually a flashing embedded into the brickwork and if any water comes over the eaves and into the cavity, it can actually escape. Once the walls reach plate height, the construction supervisor will check the dimensions of each room and thoroughfare with a laser device. The build will not proceed further until the supervisor is satisfied that the layout corresponds to the house plans. If you've come on site to measure walls or rooms for furniture, just bear in mind that once the plaster has been, there'll be 10 mil of render either side. So for instance, this fridge recess is a metre here. You might be wanting to allow, say, 950 for a fridge. Not exactly one metre, give you enough room for either side. Occasionally, bricks present with an undesirable discoloration. These green spots are caused by vanadium, a natural chemical which arises from salts in the brick clay. They manifest on external bricks, often in well-shaded areas, but will disappear over time. Chemical remedies can permanently damage the brickwork, so it's best to let vanadium stains fade away naturally. If you're concerned, contact the manufacturer for advice on the specific vanadium treatment for your range of brick. At the conclusion of bricklaying, surplus bricks will be left on site. Please do not remove them. Subsequent tradespeople, such as tilers, require bricks to fulfil their tasks. Completion of the brickwork phase marks a major milestone in construction. Your home is no longer a dream, but a three-dimensional reality. Next up, we delve into the roof framing phase. You'll learn about wind classification, understand spandrel configuration, and find out why knots in timber are okay, plus much more.